course will review the basic knowledge on how to and what to look at when performing a trip inspection on an NSC bus. It is recommended after completing the module that drivers familiarize themselves with practical review and become comfortable with the vehicles they operate. Local regulation and bylaws may entail additional requirements, so it is important to consult the legislation beforehand. Trip inspections are an important aspect of any company's safety program. As well, they are a National Safety Code standard, NSC Standard 13, which is a regulatory requirement. Ensuring that vehicles are roadworthy is essential to not only your safety, but the safety of other road users. Remember that your safety always comes first. If your vehicle is parked in an unsafe location, move it to an area where it is safer to inspect. Regulations state that no driver will operate a vehicle or allow another person to operate a vehicle that is in a condition that is likely to cause danger to other people or property. So remember, if your vehicle has a major defect, do not drive it until the defect is corrected. It is both unsafe and against the law. A trip inspection must be conducted every day that the vehicle is being operated and is valid for 24 hours from the time of inspection. This means if a vehicle was inspected at 7 a.m. on a Monday morning, the next inspection must be completed by 7 a.m. the next day. A trip inspection report must be written legibly and some forms of electronic format are also acceptable.